Right now, it's appearing as though NASA may have to pick up testing of its SLS moon rocket on another day. Yeah, today the teams were hit with more technical problems, which led to some modifications during testing. New 6's James Barbero is live at the Kennedy Space Center with the latest. James. NASA stresses they are meeting some objectives, Ginger, but there are still those that are not being achieved as the teams work to hopefully finally finish this final major test before launch. As NASA fuels the space launch system, we see oxygen vapor venting from the top of the moon rocket's core stage and underneath the mobile launcher platform. Originally planned to be a two-day test, NASA says the wet dress rehearsal is taking at least two weeks because of technical issues. Thursday, a three-inch valve that isn't working prevented teams from fueling the rocket's upper stage in addition to the core stage. It's brand spanking new, so there's always the possibility of things not going to work, just like his helium valve. Lee Sterick was a Kennedy Space Center firefighter for 30 years, and like the Apollo and shuttle missions he worked on. That's how close we were. He says KSC firefighters now are closely watching launch pad 39B just in case. There's crews ready to respond. We always had trucks and, and crews standing by ready to support, you know, going in for leaks or something like that. A leak discovered Thursday. NASA says teams then paused fueling with the core stage tank filled about halfway with liquid oxygen and only about 5% with liquid hydrogen. And now NASA says the teams are unloading that fuel and the good news they say is the rocket is safe. Now we wait for NASA to tell us its plan moving forward. Will there be another test needed? Will they do another modified test or will they be satisfied maybe with the data they've received today? Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.